I'm going to the six after that. So it's a three to the six. Or you can play it straight. You don't have to do that roll up. Okay? Like that. And then I ended up on the G, B flat, C, and D in the left hand, and then F, A, C in the right, which is a, a G minor 11 chord, okay? Welcome to another episode of Chord Crush Thursdays, where we get into chords and progressions and nice voicings that you can add to your chord vocabulary. So we do this every Thursday, so make sure that you hit the subscribe button, also the notification bell, that way you don't miss out on any future videos that we have coming your way. And also do me a favor and like this video, that way it gets out to more people. All right, so what we're gonna do for this video is I'm gonna show you a chord voicing that you could use to substitute the sixth chord when you're playing a minor chord in any particular key. But for this lesson, we're gonna be in the key of B flat major, kind of piggybacking on the last video that we did. All right, so let's check out the number system and scale for the key of B flat major. Here we go. So B flat is the one. C is the two. D is our three. E flat is the four, F is the five, G is the six, A is the seven, and we're back at the one B flat. So that is our number system and scale for the kid B flat. That's what we're gonna do to identify the number system when it comes down to if I say, okay, we're going to the six. So that means we're gonna hit the G, all right? So we're gonna try to keep this video um, or this lesson about five minutes long, I kind of wasted some time, but let's get to it. So the chord that we usually play on the sixth tone when we're in the key of, of B flat major is when we go to the sixth, which is G, you would usually play like a G minor nine or a G minor 11, sometimes even a G minor seven. But I want to focus in on when you play like a voicing like this, when you have the A on top, right? And it kind of looks like you're playing a B flat major seven over G, right? So what, what I have is G, D, and F in the left hand, and then B flat, D, F, and A in the right. This is a G minor nine chord. But what you could do is alter this, and you can move your left hand from the D and F to the E flat and G. And then in your right hand, instead of playing B flat, D, F, and A, you can play an F major chord. But really, all you're doing is changing um, the top note and moving it up a whole step and letting go the next note. Okay, Every, everything else is the same. So if you look at it this way, you just move the top note, or the, I'm sorry, the lowest note, which is your thumb, up a whole step. So that means you're, you're gonna skip a note and then you let go of the note right next to it. So that's pretty much an F major chord, but that's a concept that you can do in any key. Take the top note, move it up a whole step, let go of the next note and keep the rest, okay? So for the left hand, how this is gonna work is, you, if you think about the B flat major scale, because that's the key that we're in, well, you're just gonna go up another, uh, take each note in the left hand, well, the D and the F, not the bass note, not the G. You're gonna take these up to the very next note of the scale. So you're gonna go from the D to the E flat, and then the F to the G, okay? So it's like you're doing this. So the lowest note is gonna go up a half step and the, the next note is gonna go up a whole step, okay? So you can do this in any key. And if you really know your scales and you know, and you know how to play them in third intervals, it's just a third interval. So it's like you're going from a, a, a D minor third interval to an E flat major third interval. So. Pretty much you're going from the minor third interval, which is D and F, to E flat and G. Now, I'm not gonna get too technical with this because um, it'll take too long. So just keep that in mind. That's what it is. But I'm not, I don't have time to break it down because we wanna keep this short. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that you can actually use this chord. That way you can get some insight on different approaches. Um, but it's totally up to your creativity. I just wanna 
give you a head start on different ways to implement this chord into your plan. So typically, um, when you go to the six tone, a common chord progression that you would use is a seven, three, six chord. There's many different chords that you can play on each of these tones, um, but typically when you get to this tone, the G, that's where that minor chord is gonna happen. But what you do on the seven to the three, you have a lot of different options. But what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this A7 with a sharp nine and flat five, okay? And then I'm gonna go to a D dominant seventh. It's an altered chord. And then I'm gonna go to the G minor nine. So what I got on the A, I have A and, and C sharp in my left hand or D flat, you can call it either or. And then I have G, C, and E flat in my right. Okay? So just to let you hear how the chord progression sounds, it sounds like this. Okay, so we got the chord on the A, and then when I go to the D, I have D and C in the left hand, and then F sharp, C, and F on the right. Okay, and then we end up on this G minor 9 chord, which is G, D, and F in the left hand, and then B flat, D, F, and A. But this is where the alteration can happen. Okay, and instead of playing a minor 9, you could play this chord right here. Okay. So, what we got is... Now, from here, you can actually resolve on a minor nine chord like this, okay? Now, you can also go major if you want to on the sixth tone after this. So I just went major. I went to a G major with an add nine. Now you can also take the concept that I showed you on one of my last videos where I did, um, I played kind of the same chord, but I played it over E flat. So if you saw my last chord, um, Crush Thursday's video, I played the same chord, but I played it over to E flat and I showed you this movement. Right? That, da, da, da. Well, you can do the same thing. Instead of playing an E flat, you can play this chord and do the same concept, which is going from F to G. And then I'm playing G, E flat, G in the left hand, and then C, F, and A in the right. And I'm going to speed it up because we're running out of time. So F, G, and then play the chord, and then change the top two notes to E flat and G. Okay? And then we're gonna keep the bass the same, which is the six. And now we have this G, F, B, D flat, and G in the right, okay? So now take the D flat and raise it up, okay? And then from here, you can go to the C. I got C, G, and E flat in the left hand, and F, G, B flat, and F in the right. I'm using E flat as a grace note. Now I'm gonna speed up. So then hit the E flat, and then go to the one. So pretty much the chord progression is six, stay there, then to the two, then to the one. So on the one, what I got is B flat, F, C, and D in the left hand. And then F, A, and D in the right. You see as a grace note. Okay, like that. And then hit the C after. So, so far. And then now we're gonna go to this. I got A and D in the left hand, and then E flat, G, B, and D in the right. Okay, now in the left hand, you can stretch this A down here if you want to, if, if you can make it. Okay, and then I'm going to the, to the three, which is the D. So I got D and C in the left hand, and then E flat, 
A flat and E flat in the right. Now you could either raise the, the A flat up like that, or you can raise or drop the, the E flat down. Like that. So I'm going to the six after that. So it's a three to the six. Or you can play it straight. You don't have to do that roll up. Okay? Like that. And then I ended up on the G, B flat, C, and D in the left hand, and then F, A, C in the right, which is a, a G minor 11 chord. Okay? So you got some options. You got the 7-3-6. And then you can go to minor. You can also do it going to major. Here's the chord again. I didn't mean to hit that chord, that was ugly. But you got some options. Okay? So I hope you enjoy that altered chord. It's one of those mystical chords that you could use to kind of take your plan somewhere else and create some variety. So I hope you like this. Another one to add to your chord arsenal. God bless. I'll see you on the next video.